The answer to fixing all of your contact problems lies in your ability to tilt in the golf swing. And we're going to be looking at Ben Hogan's tilt today. Ben Hogan, one of the best ball strikers of all time. He was like a, a robot out there. And when you watch him swing, you get an idea of what you truly need to do to strike the ball well. And one of the big pieces that we're gonna look at is the idea of tilting and staying centered. Your whole ability to strike the ball solid lies around this concept. This is what will enable you to walk up to a ball without much thinking, swing, and hit it solid. And I'm, I, haven't even, I haven't even hit it yet, and I told you it was gonna be solid <laughs> because of this very concept right here. Ben Hogan's tilt. Tilt is your spine, quite literally, moving like this towards a target. Now, it's something you absolutely need in the golf swing to hit the ball in the center of the club face. So if I stand over the ball here, the first thing I have is tilt. My spine is tilted towards the ground. For me to maintain this tilt, this relationship to the ball, I have to also move my spine like so. I have to tilt my spine towards a target. And when I replace my forward tilt with spine tilt, you see I'm keeping my body's relationship to the ball. This is an active movement with your spine. I am not just keeping my spine stationary. I'm not trying to keep my spine angle. I am literally tilting. And when we watch Ben Hogan from the side view, you're going to see that he also keeps his body's relationship to the ball. And this requires an active side bending towards the target. Some of you might say, Tom, there's no way you're doing this in the golf swing. I just saw you hit that ball right there. You don't look like this. I really do. When you look at me from a 45 degree angle, this is where you're going to see me tilting fully with my spine towards the target, top of backswing. So that lead shoulder is doing what? It's dropping big time. But my head's not going down. I'm keeping my head in place and I'm tilting. This is an active movement of the spine so that you can strike the ball solidly time after time. What's that song? Time after time. Yeah. By getting this shoulder down, keep my body's relationship with the ball, enables me to strike the center of the club face. It also enables my body to turn. So I'm getting that shoulder down and the strikes are delicious. But there's another aspect of the Hogan tilt that gets overlooked and it's from the very front view. So we know Hogan is tilting his spine like this fully towards the target because it's shown from a 45 degree angle. It's also shown from the down the line view. He's keeping his spine tilt towards the ground. Now from the front view, another thing that you gotta pay attention to is this. And here's the big misconception. A lot of golfers will think that they can move their spine like this, the top. They turn their back to the target and ultimately what's going on here is as they swing, their head's moving to the right, they're, they're trying to keep their spine angle. But from the front view, if I just keep my spine angle and I didn't tilt, you see this. Now this isn't exactly what Hogan's doing because if we watch him and I draw a stake right through his spine, you're going to see that that stake stays in the same, same angle here and at the top, it's at the same angle. For me to create this angle, I need to tilt towards the target while keeping my head in place. Because if I don't tilt at all, I'm moving like this. This is the opposite of tilt, it's just pure turn. Lack of tilt, very level turn. And it would look something like this from the down the line view. But if I add tilt, here we are. And from the front view, if I, add, if I go level, and I add tilt, here we are, we're over the ball. And that's where you see Hogan. Why does this matter? It matters because you're trying to coordinate this tilt throughout the golf swing from both angles for solid contact with every club in the bag. You need full side bend towards the target, you need to keep your head in place, and from the front view, you also need to keep your spine vertical, or at least closer to vertical, not moving your head side to side, which in either direction, moving your head in either direction is going to create inconsistent contact. 
So you need to work on your tilt. And the way you do that, one, I've got a ton of great drills at the link go.segudo.golf. My free mini course, top three keys, you need to be a great ball striker. That's a great place to start. Second place is just thinking about getting your shoulder moving down but keeping your head in place. So my lead shoulder touching the ball, but my head staying in place. Spine stays vertical, and that's a crispy strike. It already predicts the strike for you. There it is again. So to think that Hogan doesn't tilt, or to think that there's some other force going on outside of tilt, like if you, if you had a golf swing without tilt, it would look like this. Baseball player. That would be doing zero tilt. Even if I had a little bit of tilt towards the ball like this, if I didn't tilt at all, I didn't change my spine angle, if I kept it the same, that's what you're getting. It's not a golf swing. But the second I add the tilt, and then the second I do this with my arms, there's my golf swing. That's a golf swing. So you need this. It's not like a, we're gonna try and get around it, because if you don't tilt, I guarantee you'll top that ball. I don't wanna hurt my PXGs. You've probably seen me do this in a previous episode where I demonstrated a top, I'm sorry club. We're never doing that again. I don't want you to do it either. I'm just trying to keep my spine vertical and tilt. There it is again. It's extremely centered. The importance of staying centered in the golf swing cannot be overstated. If you stay centered, you're going to play great golf. Just keeping my head in place like there's a pin on it, turn those shoulders in a circle, making sure I'm tilting. It's a very powerful strike. It feels amazing. I am tilting towards the target. Mmm. Tasty McNuggets right there. Think about staying centered and you will strike the ball well. A golf swing without tilt is impossible to hit the ball well. You need tilt. Tilt is your best friend. And when you access that, you're going to have some fun out there. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in a future episode.